And we thank God for that. Amen. 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 Selection, friend, you may be seated. And at this time, we have a selection from French of Mass Choir. Come on, choir. New day, a new year.
The donation to the building fund is given in loving memory of bully Joe Presley Jr., also known as Terrence, by a nephew who took as his son, Demarcus Bobo Brockton, Sister Sheila, Roslyn, Melissa, and Dudley, as well as nieces and nephews. This is from the 5th Sunday, December. The donation to the building fund is also given in loving memory of father and mother, Murray Neesmith Sr. and Blanche L. Neesmith and brother Lawrence Neesmith by the Neesmith family for the first Sunday, which is this Sunday. The Friendship Church family would like to say thank you to the Presley and Neesmith families for the donation to the building fund. Amen. Amen. Here is your January winter wellness tip. Seven tips for staying healthy during the holidays. Drink plenty of water, which can be hard at times. Stress less, focus on you, get enough sleep, dress warmly, coat, coat mittens, scarves, insulated socks, limit your time in the cold, exercise, keep the germs away, wash your hands and mask up. Please keep those tips in mind and let's try to do them daily. Amen. The Neesmith branch of the NAACP will meet Sunday, will meet today, Sunday at 4 o'clock p.m. at Friendship United Methodist Church. On January 15th, Vice President Kamala Harris will be at Kane Day at the Dome in Columbia, South Carolina. Make plans to attend. More info on the South Carolina Conference is at the NAACP website. The building committee will meet on Thursday, January 11th at 5.30 p.m. All committee members are encouraged to be present and on time. Thank you, Linwood Neesmith, chairperson. You are invited, invited Martin Luther King, Keith and Noble and Gracious, Children and Youth Brunch, January the 15th, noon, let's, re let's relax and wear black. Please RSV by January the 13th. Please RSV to Anisha Morris at 843-933-1281 or Megan Presley at 372-9085. This is sponsored by the Children and Youth Ministry, Food, Drinks, and More. Please attend. It is time to recognize our birthdays for the month of January. When I call your name, please stand. Central and Franklin, Makai Morris, Lacey Neesman, Keisha Eady, Miranda Davis, Latanya Morris, Tremaine M. Williams, Lakeya Lawrence, Kalanja Morris, Delor Dolores F. Williams, Brian Gregg, Bernie McCutcheon, Nina Presley, Nicole, Nicole Barna, Eva Bradley, Harry James Presley, Michael Harper, William Al Alexander Swinton, Josiah Fulmore, my mom, Sheila P. Lee, Fred Amos McCray, LaShawn Neesmith, Joseph E. Porsche, Kiana Neesmith Chestnut, Justin Presley, Veronica Julius, Joseph Neesmith, Joe Neesmith, Marie Neesmith, and Valerie Neesmith. All right, it's time.
January. Please stand when I call your name. Randy and Sunita Swinton. They're celebrating. They're celebrating. Okay, they'll celebrate. <laughs> right. The church family like we wish you many, many, many more happy years together. <laughs> Let's continue to pray for the sick and shut in. Everyone on the prayer list and our bereavement families. At this time, do we have any visitors? Any visitors, please stand. All right, thank you. All right, Friendship Church family, are we ready? We're ready. All right. Friendship United Methodist Church, where friendship has a new meaning. Ready, hope, and love, but the greatest we share is love. Family, be blessed. Have a great week. Please keep the announcements in mind. Love you, family. Amen. Thanks, Mrs. Mrs. Crystal Saunders for the communications ministry. Amen. Thank you. And y'all, God, govern yourself accordingly. I'm excited. So just remember, I'm excited because God has been so good to me. And I know he's done the same for you all. So let go and let go.
morning again. I am Sister Edna Neesmith, and I will be your scripture reader for today. Lay servant Edna Neesmith, and it reads as follows. The Old Testament will be coming from Isaiah, 60th chapter, 1 through the 6th verse. And the New Testament, Matthew, the 2nd chapter, 1 through the 12th verse. And I will begin reading at Isaiah, the 60th chapter, 1 through the 6th verse. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And it reads as follows. Arise. Shine. For the light is coming. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and the broad darkness the people. But the Lord shall rise, arise upon thee, mm -hmm. and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Thank you, Jesus. And the Gentiles shall come to the light. Thank you, Lord. And the king to the brightness of the rising. Yes, <laughs> Lift up thine eyes around about mm -hmm. and see. All they gather themselves together. They come to thee. Thy sons shall come from afar, and the daughters shall be nurtured by thy son. Then thou shalt see and float together, and thy heart shall fear and be enlarged. Because the abundance and be because of the abundance of the sea shall be covered unto thee. The force of the Gentile shall come unto thee. The multitudes of Campbell shall cover thee. The Durams of the Mian and the Ephod, all thee from shall, be, shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall shower forth the praise of the Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Really, those who are able to stand. Mm. Would you please stand with us, with me, as I read the scripture. Matthew, again, the second chapter, 1 through the 12th verse. Thank you. And it reads as follows. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, of Judah the days of the hero, the king, Behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, He is that is born king of Jews. For we, for we have seen his star in the east, and are coming to worship him. Thank you, God. When he rolled the king have heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of all the, of the people together. Mm -hmm. He demanded of them where Christ should be born. Mm -hmm. And they said unto him, excuse me, and they said unto, and they said unto him, Bethlehem of Judah, for thus is written by the prophet, mm -hmm. and thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah, are not the least among the priests of Judah. For out of these shall come a governor yes. that shall rule my people in Israel. Then he wrote, when he had privately called the wise men, inquire of them digitally what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, go and search digitally for the young children. Mm -hmm. And when you have found him, bring me word again, mm -hmm. that I may come and worship him also. Thank you, God. When they have heard the king, they departed and lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them, 
till it came and stood over where the young child was. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. And when they were coming into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, yes, his mother, yes, yes, yes. and fell down and, and worshiped him. Mm -hmm. And when they had opened their treasures, they present into his they present unto him a gift, mm -hmm. gold and frankincense and myrrhs, and being were of God in a dream that they should return to Hero. They departed unto their own country another way. Amen. For these scriptures I have read, these are the words from God for the people of God. Amen. Receive them in our souls. Next we will have, I need thee every hour. Prayer by lay servant Betty H. Morris. At this time, concerns are being requested at this time, or uplifted at this time. Oh God. 
Teach us, God, how to worship you, Lord God. Teach us, God, how to praise you, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over this sanctuary. We plead the blood of Jesus over our children. Oh, we plead the blood of Jesus over our homes. So the enemy can do us no harm. Glory be to Jesus. We thank you, oh God, for blessing our pastor, oh God.
Marvelous, marvelous prayer to God. Yes. Thank you. At this time, we have affirmation of faith, 881. Please stand. Bless you, God.
will have no other, no other than Reverend Ernest W. Bryan. Hallelujah. May God be the glory. Not to praise him, but I'm saying what God sent us. A man of God. So let's worship and praise him.
bastard to go there. But I'm here to tell you. are happening in this world. And today I'm going to talk about what you need to let go if you're going into 24. Because we got some stuff This morning from Luke's Gospel, the seventh chapter. The reading will commence at the eleventh verse and end at the seventeenth verse. Actually, the sixteenth verse. Luke 7, verse 11 through 16. Let us pray, Father. Oh, Father. Oh, Lily of the Valley. Oh, bright and morning star. Oh, Lord, we come before you as humble as we are. Lord, you have been so As your prophet Jeremiah said in Lamentations, you are so good. But Father, we are coming before you only now to bring forth this word so that someone may get to know you a little bit better. Lord, keep your right hand yeah. on our right shoulder. Yeah. So that when we look to the right, we will see you. Yeah. This is your servant's prayer. In the precious and the matchless name of yeah. Jesus. Let every heart say amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. amen. I'm reading from the New King James Version. It says, Now it happened the day after that he went into a city called Nain. And many of his disciples went with him. Large crowd. And when he came near the gate of the city, behold, a dead man was being carried out. The only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And a large crowd from the city was with her. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her. And he said to her, do not weep. Then he came and touched the open coffin. And those who carried him stood still. And he said, young man, I say to you, arise. Great God. So he who was dead sat up and began to speak. And he presented him to his mother. Then fear came upon all. And they glorified God, saying, a great prophet has risen up among us, and God has visited his people. The word of God for the people of God. 
This message this morning, as we begin a brand new year, this message is a challenge to those of you, all of us, I know me, to try and reclaim those areas of our lives that we may have given up for dead. We've been through a lot. But, but some of our aspirations and our hopes and our dreams and our goals throughout 23 has been diminished to the part of totally being erased. Luke, the writer of our church, presents two subjects for our consideration. I want to use as a message Jesus and funerals. Jesus and funerals. Luke informs us that as he entered into the town of Nain, I'm talking about Jesus. He came upon a funeral in progress. Jesus, the giver and sustainer of life, he encountered this funeral. Of course, you know what a funeral is. That's the, 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 the final occasion that marks the end of somebody's life. Luke presents this clash of total opposites. Jesus and the funeral as the backdrop for another opportunity for a supernatural demonstration of Jesus' deity. The combination of Jesus and funerals will always result in unexpected and life altering changes. Luke says, the woman in the story was attending the funeral of her only son. She was a widow. My brothers and sisters, I want you to hear me now. Life is filled with its share of disappointments and heartbreaks. Would I be correct in saying that? But let me suggest to you today that Jesus has a way of reversing conditions uh, as well as your attitude that God Almighty and you will not begin to understand how powerful he is. Jesus will restore your hope. Luke tells us in this text that Jesus Yes. His disciples and many people entered the gates of the city of Nain. Mm -hmm. They met this woman in the midst of this funeral procession and many people were with her. Jesus. They're on their way to the graveyard to mm -hmm. carry her only child. Oh, I want you to hear me now. Hear we see two groups of people standing in complete contrast to each other. Yeah. Two groups on the same street going in two different directions. Yeah. Two groups, one is playing a funeral dirge. Come on, come on. The other celebrating the fact that the role of Sharon is in their midst. Yeah. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, I don't know if you know that it's a miracle when when Jesus can be right there in your midst and, and you don't even realize it and things are starting to turn around. Can I get a witness in here? You understand? See, Jesus could be standing right or sitting right beside you right now and he's working out some things to circumvent it from happening later on today. It's Jesus! Woman in the text off all hope. Nothing else Only son had just died. Come on, come on. She was on her way to the graveyard yeah. to deposit his remains. Come on. Glory to God. But on the way to the graveyard, oh, God. God Almighty, she ran into Jesus. Oh. 
Lord have mercy. You can be on your road to despair. You can be on your road to doom and gloom. But all of a sudden, when you look around, look over that right shoulder, guess who's standing there? It's nobody but Jesus. I want you to understand. Somebody here today is going through a painful and hopeless situation. But I want you to hear me when I say that Jesus is on your street too. Huh? I know you came to hear the choir sing and I came, you came to, to serve as an usher at the door or you came simply to enjoy the fellowship but the real vicinity of your problem. He's in the vicinity of your predicament, your brokenness, your failure, your crisis. Somebody here this morning is in the middle of a dead situation. Like the widow of our text, you're in the middle of a funeral. You're on your way to the graveyard. But I want to know if you will say this to yourself, which way are you headed today? Are you headed to the graveyard? Because you're letting all of us bad stuff, the stuff that you've gone through in 2020, are you allowing that stuff to just discombobulate you and take you to the graveyard? Are you going to say, Father, I rebuke you, Satan. You ain't got no place for me. Get away from me. Yes, I've been through hell in 23, but I refuse to go to hell in 24. I need you to come by here. I need you to walk down the highway. Beside friendship, you're not in Methodist church. I need you to reach me down. I need you to shake the stuff off of me because I'm Stop hanging out with them funeral folk. All they want to do is keep you in the grave. 
God. That's all they want to do. They don't want to try to say something positive to help you get up out of the dirt. Great God of mine. You understand? You've been allowing people to put the dirt on your face too long. It's time now to shake that foolishness off and let the power of the Holy Spirit guide you and protect you and do whatever the Spirit needs to do so that you can be walking on solid ground. Great God Almighty, that song by Second Sand. You ain't got to go through Second Sand. All you got to do is reach your hand out and grab the Master's hand and he will take you to where you need to go. service was held. Hallelujah. Whether it was at the church friendship or Jesus. at the funeral home. Amen. What happened at the funeral come on. was not really the important part. Come on, come on. The text does not say who the musician was, who gave remarks, who even read the obituary, who even preached the sermon. But I believe Help me, Holy Spirit. Based on reading this text, I believe the choir had already sung the final selection. I believe the preacher had given the eulogy. The sweeping mother and other mourners had poured out into the street. And as they were making their way to the graveyard, they ran into Jesus. Great God Almighty, Lord Jesus. I want you to understand as I begin to sit down in a minute. When, what do you say when you are just about to be buried and the situation is turned around at the last minute? What do you say when you have been dead and you are given a second chance to live? That's when I realized that's not such a strange or difficult question. Just ask the recovering addict. Just ask the drunk who God has cleaned up. Just ask the ex-liar. Just ask me. Just ask yourself. Whatever that young man said that day is not important. But you can be sure that he had a new attitude. He had a new outlook on life. What about you? Jesus knows how to turn your grave God situations into a second chance. The problem with Jesus and funerals is that they cannot exist. They cannot coexist. Look at the problem that Jesus created. 
when he delivered that boy back to his mother. Yes. The grave digger had dug a grave. There was nobody to put in. The undertaker had already been paid for services. Some money needed to be turned back to the undertaker. The mourners and the music makers had to change their tune. And death had been denied one of his many victims. I need you to know that there was someone else in the proceedings that day in the city of Maine. Death was watching as Jesus restored hope to the widow. How did he do it? He stopped the funeral and he spoke life back into that dead boy's body. Can he do it in your life? I said, can Jesus do it in your life? Have you had a dead situation when Jesus got to you and he spoke life back into you? I need to know, do I have any witnesses in here? I know that's what he did for me one day. Great God of my April 2006, God put me on the floor. But great God of my I thought it was all over. But Jesus spoke life back into my life. And look at where I am today. Won't he do it? I said, won't he do it? Has he done it for anybody in here today? Has he brought back life into you? When you thought the situation was dead. But God, look at what God did. What he do it? You want to give him a hand clap. As I was sitting there at the computer, something else came to me. I could hear death saying to Jesus, I'm tired of you. And all your stuff. Every time I get somebody tangled in pain and sorrow, you set them free. Guess what Jesus said? He said, Death, the feeling is mutual. I'm tired of you too. But that's what Jesus said to death. He said, you got Adam. <laughs> you got Moses. You got Abraham. You got Isaac and Joseph. You got Job. You got the prophets. You got David and the kings. Let's settle this thing once and for all. Jesus told death, meet me. On a Friday night. Outside the walls of the city of Jerusalem, yes. around 12 noon, it's a skull shaped hill called Golgotha. Help me, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit said that Satan took his best shot. They put a crown of thorns on Jesus' head. They nailed him to a cross. They pierced him in his side. He told Satan, I'm going to die now. But I want you to know that you are not taking my life. I'm laying it down. If I lay it down, I'll take it up again. He died. He died. He died on a Friday. But early Sunday morning, he got it up with all power. I said it with all power. Because he lives. know that he is willing to take you out of any situation. If you ought to do that, get on your feet and give it all. I can clap praise. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Situation, Jesus can bring it back to life. Whether it's in, in your home, 
If it's in your marriage, if it's some disagreements between your siblings, Jesus can speak life back into But you got, but you got to be willing. You got to be willing. Come on, somebody. You got to be willing. Listen, God has been so good. Do you, do you, do you understand? He has been so good to us. We don't even deserve it. But his grace and his mercy is sustaining us, Sister Mary. He, he wants us to be all right. But how can we do that, young people? Establishing a relationship. I say it all the time. You get busy doing everything. Why not get busy opening the word of God? Study to show yourself approved. And watch God turn things around for you in 2024. You can't play God. I love that old song that Shirley Caesar was saying. Said, say, Mama, come out here and show in. It's cutting up in the backyard. Mama went to the back door and saw how she was running around in the backyard. Praising God. Mama looked at her and said, she ain't playing now. Thank God Almighty. If you don't think God will do a change in your life, if you don't think he'll make them bad situations come alive, you keep on living. Don't let them naysayers stay up in your face. You get them naysayers out of your face. You tell them they got no business around you. I'm telling you right now, if you believe, believe. If you believe that Jesus is your Lord, just raise your hand. Somebody will raise your hand. Yeah. 
of Jesus will take any of their situation. Amen. He'll bring it back to earth. Yes, he will. But you better believe that. Amen. Thank you, God. In your belief, just get to know him a little bit better. Is that all right? The altar is open. If you did not have a chance to come to watch night, and you really wanted to come to the altar, you can come down. You can come. Will you come? 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 Ushers, can you help him? Brother Laurie J. Cunningham. Amen. Amen. Bring a chair up here and just let him sit down. Hallelujah. Yes. Where, where are my ushers? And the other ushers, would you escort Brother Laurie? And bring him up to the front. Can you get my oil? Their life and 
what they planned to do upon graduating. But they interrupted me and they said, Pastor, we were in a bad accident on Wednesday. The bus driver apparently had some sort of a, an attack and the bus ran straight into a tree. She's in Charleston now asking us to pray but these two are on the bus. God saw fit to cover them as well as him as well as Oh, 
Christian. Brother Lord, I anoint you in the name of the Father. In the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. If you choose to be anointed, I'm going to stand right here until you're ready to go back to your seat. If you choose to be anointed, just raise your hand and I'll talk to you.
and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God and one another together. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have made you with the name of the church. We have not loved you with your will. We have broken your law. We have failed to change your love. We have not loved our neighbors. And we have not heard the cry of the king. Forgive us and we pray. Bring us to the one who will be Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks to you. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. And so, with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join in their unending hymn together. Holy, 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 holy Lord, 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 you gave birth to your church, delivered us from slavery to sin and death, and made with us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, Drink from this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. And so, in remembrance of these, your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice, in union with Christ's offering for us, as we proclaim the mystery of faith together, Christ has died, Christ has risen, Christ will come again. Pour out the Holy Spirit on us gathered here and on these gifts of bread and wine. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Let us all say, Amen. Amen. Let us pray the prayer which he taught his disciples to say when he said, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and we give us not into the temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Take your cup. The body of Christ is given for you. Take and eat. The blood of Christ is given for you. Take and drink. Do this in remembrance of me and in fact. Ushers, will you please retreat?
this prayer together. Eternal God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we be home to the world in the strength of your spirit to give ourselves to others. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. amen. Turn to the name, turn to the name, I love you. send out period. our children and youth will be doing that all day Monday Dr. King's day okay they'll come we'll get with TC and she'll logistically tell us how to do it it's going to be done what they're going to do when your phone rings answer it you'll hear hi my name is and this is a message from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. okay and they'll, they'll give one or two little snippets that's the word I used when I was on radio and TV. Little snippets, okay, maybe two or three liners, and move on to the next child, okay? We're gonna do that recording on, when we say, Megan? Monday. This is when? Before Sunday after church? Sunday coming, amen, amen, amen. See how fast they work? Uh, TC, the Sunday after church, we, you, know, you get with them. You can't say nothing, they'll see you on TV, huh? yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that, that's, that's one part. The second part is at 12 noon, we're having a brunch, okay? And they will be intricately involved in the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. again, here at the church. So, listen, let me tell you, those of you who were here watch night, we had 40, 50 children in here. And they came right up here to the altar and they encircled me. If they can come, like that, they can come all the other time. But, but, but parents, I need to. I'm not. Listen to me, parents. I'm not putting my hand on your neck. I'm asking you very, very humbly. Say it now, Please bring your children and you out to rehearsals. Amen. The children and you, you know it by now. Third Sunday every month is their Sunday. We need you, moms and dads. When I was growing up, it wasn't no if I'm going. Mama said, you know her, and, and daddy looked at the door, your mama said, boy. And I went to Sunday school. Because I was reading, I was reading the church profile, and it talked about the large number that attended for the children. Now I know this church has been through an horrific situation. But we're on the mend of coming back. Okay? You not, I can preach it because I believe it, but you need to believe it too. Okay? So we just need to come together and make this church stronger. Amen? Speaking of that, this Thursday at 5.30, the building committee will meet. We need every member there because we're getting ready to turn the page now. Amen? Amen. Are you serious about your church? Yeah. I said, are you serious about your church? Yeah. Amen. 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 And one final inclusion for our worship services. The third Sunday of every month, Ms. Fryson will teach children's sermon. Third Sunday. Amen. Only the third Sunday. Amen. 
once a month. That's children and youth Sunday. She will integrate children's sermon in the order of service. Amen. 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 I asked her this morning on the way to church. I said, "You ready?" She's I'm ready. Great, God Almighty. That's all I need to hear. My prayer for all of you Amen. is that you continue to love one another. Amen. Stop Amen. finding fault. Because all the, my grandmama used to say, all the weed got faults. Amen. Yeah, yeah, we do. We started at the pool. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Pray for me. I'll be preaching this afternoon. Uh, I would have, I didn't want to bother my choir as a real musician. At Aimwell Free Will Baptist Church in Old Lanta. This afternoon at 3 o'clock. So pray you pass the strength. Amen? Amen. 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 All hearts and minds are clear. Amen. Let us have our closing. I want to thank my liturgist. Amen. They serve with Lee Smith. Praise our prayer Amen. coordinator Amen. here. Layla Lamaris. Our ushers. Our musicians. My musicians and my vocalists. My acolytes. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Amen. Cam, I tell you what, man, you all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's shaking his head. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Could you stand on his hour, please? Singing our threefold. Amen.